A Madera County family is now warning others about a new law that has reopened emotional wounds. Their mother's killer was released from prison after serving just a fraction of her sentence, and it's because of a new law that actually expanded existing guidelines for releasing inmates who are terminally ill. She had a very beautiful smile. Yeah. Bonnie Hale was a mother, grandmother, avid bowler, and a proud member of the North Fork Rancheria of Mono Indians. Everybody recognizes this. Pride, her son Bobby Hale, proudly carries on. Well, my mom was uh, very caring, very selfless. My dad uh, showed us discipline, and my mom showed us uh, how to love with your heart. It's been six years since he made the discovery outside his mother's North Fork home that changed his life and left his family with a void. I walked around the corner and there was my mom on the ground. And your blood leaves you. And you feel like you just lost all your blood in your system. Like, we didn't get to say goodbye to my mom, you know? And that's a big blow, you know, to your heart and to your soul, to your spirit, you know? Um, it crushes your mind. His mother's neighbor, Mary O'Keefe, was arrested in her killing, but it took another three years of hearings and evaluations to get her sentenced. This defendant had health issues when she committed this killing, and, um, and we knew about those health issues. And by the way, they didn't prevent her from killing Bonnie Hale. Issues that led the family to agree to a plea deal with O'Keefe, 13 years and four months in exchange for pleading guilty to voluntary manslaughter and first-degree residential burglary, along with the weapons enhancement. It seemed, given her health conditions at the time she committed the murder, that uh, Miss O'Keefe would quite likely die in custody. Instead, the family and Moreno say they were blindsided. It was an open wound. We were wounded again. You know that uh, two wrongs don't make a right, um, but this family, they went through a lot. In late February, O'Keefe was granted compassionate release under a new state law. AB 960 expanded the scope of compassionate release for inmates who are medically incapacitated or are facing an end-of-life diagnosis. The author, Assemblymember Phil Ting, said eligibility criteria were too narrow. According to a fact sheet provided by his office, between January of 2015 and April of 2021, 304 people were referred for compassionate release. 53 were released. 91 of them died before the process was completed. Too many tax dollars are spent on incarcerating people who are nearing death and those who require round-the-clock attention, despite the fact that they pose the lowest risk to public safety, Ting's office said. Moreno says she especially takes issue with the speed of the process. We had about 10 days to respond, and candidly, that's not time for us to get a doctor into the prisons to verify the diagnosis. And that meant just days for the family to summarize its pain for the judge in a letter. Why should she be able to pass away with her family and our mother had to pass in the freezing weather all alone? O'Keefe was released on March 10th and died two days later. Now Hale's family and Moreno are on a mission to let others know even more of these releases will be fast-tracked as a result of the new law, regardless of the sentence that had been handed down. We spent years in court uh, to get a, a legal judgment and an imposed sentence and to take that away from us and not even give us a chance, a providing chance, uh, that's hard to swallow. The legislature has made a liar out of me. You know, they only see the one side of it and it's so frustrating to me. They only see the defendant. Assemblyman Ting's office said that he did not believe that this bill was used for compassionate release in the case, but DA Moreno says that her office received a letter from the California Department of Corrections citing the specific section of penal code that is now in place as a result of that bill. Now, the State Department of Corrections told me that expanded criteria for compassionate release is in place for consideration but could not provide numbers on just how many have been released under that new law. Your heart certainly goes out for that family. And the family says it now wants to raise awareness, and if they can change it to the yeah. not apply to people who have killed others, they say that that is what they want now. I we'll can see. understand that. Yeah. Want to see more stories like this? Watch Great Day weekday mornings from 5 to 10 and Fox 26 News at 10.